Hello everyone, this is Miroslava. I am the metaphysical chick and today I have a different kind of video for you. Um, I felt the guidance of the Galactic Federation and the Ashtar Command, the Multiverse Council to just show up, to hold space and to just allow whatever they want to share with us to come through. So. Yeah, let's dive in. Alright, so... Now, if you are not aware of what the Multiverse Council is, I am going to share a link to a blog post that I created about this council. And so, you know, if you want to dive deeper into that, you'll be able to find more information about them there. So I am just going to tune in, see what comes through. And if you have any questions, let me know. We'll get your answers. Okay, so um, the first message that they want me to relay to you is that it is time for you to start tuning into your higher self. You know, because a lot of the times we kind of put them on a pedestal, put the Galactic Federation in a pedestal, the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, uh, the Ashtar Command, or any other federation or council out there. We put them in a pedestal because we don't believe in ourselves. And we are just as powerful as each of the consciousnesses within these collectives are. And so it is time for us to remember this and to start tuning into our own wisdom and our own energy, our own soul, our higher self is a collection of everything that has ever existed and so the Akashic records, the information that we wish to know is already there. So really start tuning in, start believing in yourself and start, start trusting what you feel and really stop listening to what other people are saying. And I know I'm here saying and giving you this message, but at the same time, I am not disempowering you. I am simply here to remind you of your truth, your cosmic, infinite truth. And I feel that they are kind of coming in with this message because the world is very chaotic at the moment and there is a lot of people in fear. I have heard people just so in fear of the the V and it's like um, we are so powerful that there is no need for us to be afraid of anything that is external because we are powerful beings and we have the ability to restructure the energetic blueprint of anything before anything becomes physical it starts as energy and so we have the ability to restructure the energy the energetic blueprint as well as the intention behind whatever is taking place such as the V or just anything that is taking place within the governments and within just people in power so there's really no need for us to be in fear because we are giving into the reality that they are really uh, hoping that we co-create with them without us without our belief without our in our uh, consent they cannot create this reality that is very chaotic and very much fear-based so really take your power back and start doing things that you truly believe in and that you truly are passionate about Stop giving your power away. Now this is coming from my higher self to you. Yeholo kado suno ko yoshena ayahoda o na kaya siya ha. Yeholo ko na kaya ti sinikia tu. Yosoko o yena ayatuko suno yena makaya ti. Yahala a sa kaya tu na a. 
yoholo u na kasi yala ama u na kasi katu na kaya siya yolo ko na kaya toro suhu yana maaya tu na ka yahala ana u na siya na a yohoy suhu sinemakia yolo ko na yasaha yatu lo ko na a yohoy na iyata su yahaya u na a tisi yahala aha hoto mo u ya a Yaho o na kasi, yahaya o na a tohu y na kasi, yahala o na a. Remember your truth. Be empowered and trust in your truth. Remember. I feel, and this isn't something that I am consciously aware of. I don't know what is taking place, but it feels like there is something that is taking place energetically behind the scenes that we cannot see, and this is kind of requiring us to step up and to use our voice to really stop living in fear because we are being the example for humanity for the rest of the world and so again i don't know what is going on and i don't there this is something that they're not giving me information of they're not really giving me this information because it could be something that has the potential of changing and Okay, so yeah, yeah, so we are, we have the potential of shifting the energetic um, things or events that are taking place that we cannot see. And so what are those they are not sharing with me because they don't want us to know. Otherwise, we would uh, start being in fear. And what they want us to do is to step back into love, to step back into our own light so that we can take our power back and really start creating from that space of purity, of compassion and love and innocence as well. It's like they're reminding us of the inner child and how powerful that raw essence of God of the universe is. And so yeah it's very it's very powerful and i don't know about you but i've been experiencing a lot of ascension symptoms and i've been like really feeling my throat doing a lot of work and uh, my body has been going through a lot this whole year in general um but these past few days it's like everything that i experienced the first four or five months of the year which is like pretty recent uh, it like it all came back but it's it's our bodies adjusting to the new frequencies that we are accessing so you know give yourself the time to rest but also it's like don't start fearing and thinking of all the possibilities because um, you know the truth and you know what's going on but um yeah so is there anything else mm. i honestly think this is the message that they wanted to bring which is just about us taking our power back and to start really connecting and tapping into our higher self that collective consciousness or collection of all the ever all the magnificent beings and aspects and energetics that we have ever been because that's where the truth that's where the truth lies our truth lies that's where information lies without distortion because Whenever a being or someone external to us comes in giving us information, it is simply their perspective. But when we tune into our higher self, that information is coming in without distortion because that higher self is pure and there's really, again, there's no distortion. And so when we tune into that higher self, we are really tuning into that God frequency, that God consciousness. And so yeah and it's not to say that the information that we receive from the galactic federation because i mean they're showing up now or with the ashtar command or any other collective consciousness it's not to say that their information is not accurate because it is but it's simply a perspective it is their perspective and so we are really we are having to tune into that higher self to get the information without distortion 
The information is without distortion, but it is our ego, and it is our trauma, it is our fears that distorts that energy. So it's up to us to really work and to heal ourselves so that there is as, as little uh, distortion as possible so that we can really start creating and start speaking without the trauma and without the ego in the way. So, yeah. I feel that these are going to be sort of videos that I'm going to be creating and um, showing up with for, um, I don't know, for as long as they want me. But um, yeah, so I think this is the message that they are wanting to bring to you and that my higher self is bringing to you as well. But um, if I do feel anything else coming through, I'll just do another video and share this with you but again there's no need to be in fear and regardless of what is taking place behind the scenes what we cannot see you know it's like don't be in fear and really step back into your power because without your consent without your energy nothing can be created and so start believing in yourself um, yeah any questions for the galactic federation or for anyone uh, just let me know and again what we are giving to you is simply a perspective and it is to you to discern what feels good to you uh, but yeah so if you have any questions let me know uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel there's going to be a lot more content coming in like this and also just uh, you know I'm ready to share more of everything that I know and uh, I'm gonna be really bringing that to you uh, make sure that you follow me on social media on instagram tiktok and it's all under the metaphysical chick i am also on facebook miroslava casiano i don't have a, a business page it's just a personal page but you can follow me there as well and you can also visit my website again i do have a blog and i do have a lot of information there and there's more information coming so that's at the metaphysicalchick.com slash blog if you want to see what i have there and also i offer one-on-one -on -one sessions if you're interested in working with me i do create crystal jewelry so if you have uh, if you love crystals and want to work with those, I access the quantum field and I bring information, uh, you know, connected to different galactic collectives or elementals, energy. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, so that's all I have for you today. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye.